Hello there. In this particular lecture, we will talk about one of the most confusing values in JavaScript that is NAN. Well, you will learn that what it means, why it happens and how actually we can deal with it. Right. So let's start. Now, what is NAN? Well, NAN stands for not a number. Did you get it? Not a number. Does it make any sense? Well, it is a special value that JavaScript returns when a mathematical operation fails right so it is basically a keyword which is used to denote a failure right so that is not a number so even though nan looks like it means not a number right as per the like full form it is not a number but its type is actually a number in javascript let me show you how let's let's say console.log right and inside of this if i write type of and then inside of this if i write n a n right now if i go to the console you can see i'm getting a number here right so this is one of the fault of javascript that a keyword which is used to denote that the particular thing is not a number is actually a number right its type is actually a number. So that's your JavaScript, right? Now coming forward, uh, when do you get a NAN? Well, as I told you that whenever you see a mathematical operation fails, in that particular case, you get a NAN. Uh, for example, if let's say that I'm having this number of hello, if I trying to get the number of this hello string, I will get a, okay, not printed, right? So. let me see a console dot log and inside of this if i put the bracket right like this in that particular case you will get the nan right similarly for if you want to do the square root of negative number even then you will get a nan if you do try to uh, do the division of zero by zero that is also a mathematical failure then in that particular case you will get a nan and if you try to parse the int of this particular string only in that particular case you will get a nan right so basically anytime when you try to do the math that does not sense and then you will get a nan right i hope you understood the thing till now right now there's a small surprise for you let me show you what okay let me first comment it down uh, if I write console.log, right, and if I write NAN triple equals to NAN, right? So anything which is uh, like anything is equal to anything, right? Like if I write one equals to one, definitely it is equal. If I write a equals to a, definitely equals to, it is equal, right? But in case of NAN, if you try to compare it, right, uh, to its own in that particular case, you will get a false in the JavaScript. That is one of the most important thing which is asked in the interview, right? So NAN is not equals to the NAN. That's a concept in JavaScript, which you need to understand, right? So that's why we need special ways to check for the NAN. And that's what now we are going to understand. So how to check for the NAN? Uh, first method is to use is NAN, this method, right? Uh, let me show you that how it works. So let's say that is nan and then put a bracket here inside of this if I write hello. So do you think that uh, sh it should return a nan value? Right? Yes, of course. Right? So if I go here, okay, uh, I have not put it inside the console. fine no let's see yeah you can see i'm getting a true here right so uh is nan is used basically to check that whether the particular value is a nan or not right if it is nan it will send me a true otherwise it will give me a false right so this is not a number that's why i'm getting a true this time right now if uh, uh, there's one more method 
which is actually more stricter method which we normally use while doing uh, the checking part that is number dot sorry number dot is nan this method right number dot is nan we use this will all uh, also return the same thing right so if we do the uh, number dot is nan and inside of this if we put any uh, like uh, a string in that particular case we will get a false right so for the handling purpose what we do is that we will write const num equals to i'm just giving you an example that is num equals to parse int right and then we put a bracket and let's say it will let make it hello like this right now for handling we normally use the if condition that is if and number dot is sorry number dot is nan in that particular case to what you print oops invalid num right like this is nan after that is nan i need to put the num also right yeah like this now if i go to the console you can see i'm getting oops invalid number why because i am trying to pass int this particular string okay right so this will result in the true this will result as true and if it is true then it is printing me that invalid number fine so yeah uh, i hope you get the concept right so this is all for today's video uh, you can use the default methods also right for you by using the ternary operator and other while checking for while like dealing with the nan values and i hope you understood that all the concept regarding the nan which is a not a number uh, so this is all for today's video thank you so much for watching we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye